everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, make your image in your application as a lock screen background in a Windows Phone 8 application we have certain applications like um, uh, some application having uh, different recipes um, or some application uh, like a photo album where you have so many pictures of yourself and you want to make them as your lock screen background so instead of saving them going to settings and then setting as your lock screen background you can simply press a button within your application and uh, make it set as your lock screen background so first of all I'm going to create a new project uh, under Visual C Sharp I'm going to select Windows Phone because uh, it's a Windows Phone 8 application and select Windows Phone app I'm going to rename it as lock screen background demo you can select the location uh, as you want click OK the solution is now being loaded uh, now first of all uh, I'm going to change the name of the application on the page here and set its text to lock screen background demo I'm also going to change the name of the page as hello minion uh, because I'm going to add an image uh, of a minion here which I'm going to set as my lock screen background so first of all uh, we will add a control here we select image from the toolbox and select here uh, put it here in the XAML code I'm going to set the source for the image uh, first to restructure it so that it's easily visible all the properties are easily visible okay so I'm going to set the source for the image but before that I need to add the image in my SS folder so for that I'm going to right click this folder add a new folder inside this to separate out the images and inside images I'm going to add an existing item because I've already saved the minion image in my documents here it is selected and you can see the image appeared in under the uh, images folder so I'm going to set the source as assets images slash uh, minion dot jpg so you can see it appeared immediately in the control uh, as you can see the image is a bit farther from the right side inside the control so uh, we can set its property to fill it uh, completely under the common properties of the control uh, select stretch uh, which is set as uniform and select it to uniform to fill so now you can see it fills the control completely and you can increase the size so as to see a complete image so what I'm going to do in my application I'm going to set uh, uh, I'm going to make the application bar visible here and put a button here with a save image uh, on its top which I'm going to add in the assets here and when we click on the application bar button that is save uh, the application will prompt the user uh, and ask if you want to make this image as a lock screen background and um, when we select it as yes it will actually set it as our lock screen background so first of all uh, to add the application bar we need to add the uh, resources in the app resources dot uh, this is the uh, button that we're going to add uh, on the application bar so uh, I'm just going to change it as app bar lock screen and set its value to lock screen this is actually the value that will be shown under the button uh, if we want to add some menu items to our application bar we can select the menu items and set its text here but for my application it's not needed so I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to save this and close the file uh, now we will move to the main page.xaml.cs and under this the default code for application bar is already given I'm just going to uncomment this method and its implementation 
by selecting control k control u it uncomments all of this code so inside this you can see we have the application bar uh, set and its button um, must have this image and it's supposed to be the save.png image that I just added here in my application already so I'm just going to change its paths and make it the assets uh, images slash save dot png so it actually refers to this image and the app bar button dot text refers to the text that is to be shown under the button which is supposed to be this lock screen and it is referred by this name app bar lock screen so here in the app resources we need to set its text as app bar lock screen so it appeared here and then we add this uh, button in the application bar by uh, writing application bar dot button dot add and app bar button text here uh, as, uh, as I told we don't need the menu item in our application so you can just comment it out or remove this code for the menu items now I'm going to build my application and you'll just see what will happen it will take a while for the first build okay great I have my image image loaded here I have an application bar uh, we have this uh, text set as lock screen and we have the save.png image here but when I click on this button nothing actually happens so we have to add a code behind this so for that I'm going to generate uh, an event for this app bar button app bar button dot click so that when we click on the button something shall happen pressing uh, typing plus equal and pressing tab twice actually generates the generates the event and navigates to the handler so inside this I'm going to check um, if the lock screen manager dot uh, is provided by current application is true what shall happen if and when it's not true what shall happen so I'm going to add this if lock screen manager dot is provided by current application uh, we shall have an await function here await lock screen manager dot request access async so uh, we have few errors here uh, clicking on this we need to add using windows dot phone dot system dot user profile so it is resolved and if it is await we definitely need an async method here so now this thing is resolved uh, next I need to check when the lock screen back uh, manager is provided by the current application is true lock screen manager dot is provided by current application. What we need to do here is set the image URI and send it to the lock screen image URI. So we have here URI image URI equal to new URI within this we need to have now I'm going to add the path to my minion image that is assets images slash minion dot gpg already commas comma your eye kind is absolute or relative relative or absolute that is uh, to be added when you don't really know your uh, path is relative or absolute so now I'm just going to add it to the lock screen dot set image URI 
and pass this image URI into this okay so when we build the solution it is successful actually now our code is completed but there is one thing missing we need to add an extension to our application um, and that we will do uh, to, rec to, to make the application to be recognized as a lock screen background provider so for that I'm going to WM app manifest right click on it open with XML text editor and under this under the tokens you can see where the token is ending you just need to add this extension here okay Uh, if you already have extensions, ex any other extension added here, you don't you don't need to add this extension um, opening and closing tags. Uh, just enter the code uh, between that. But right now I didn't have it, so uh, now our code is complete. I'm going to run my application. So first of all, I'm going to check what my lock screen background actually is currently. So go to tools, simulation dashboard and here when it is unlocked, when you click on locked, you can actually see your lock screen background which is a blue image. Now when I click on this button, uh, the application prompts the user that if we want to change our lock screen background, click on it. Uh, click on yes and when you lock it you can actually see the menu on image as you lock screen background so it is just as simple as that just a few little steps and you can really uh, do this from within your application thank you so much for watching my video I hope it really helps you uh, for more uh, content on Windows Phone and Windows 8 you can follow me on Twitter at the and my blog address is dareas.wordpress.com Thank you.